Give me some of that long. Hard. Rock. What kind of show do you think this is? Jeesh. Classic rock, hard rock, and heavy metal from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Plus, stick around for Plug In, where we support independent artists one song at a time. Take it like a man from a woman who knows music. It's time for Rockasms with Jen Mitchell. Joining us live from Florida is one of John's former bandmates from Nova Rex, Mr. Kenny Wilkerson. Welcome to the show, Kenny. Hey, thanks, Jen. Thanks for having me. Kenny? <laughs> John? What's up, brother? Hey, bro. How are you? I'll give you a story about John. You want to hear a story about John real quick? I'll, I'll, give me all the dirt, please. Well, no, no. John is a hell of a singer, believe it or not. He can, he can, he can sing. <laughs> how you doing, John? I'm doing fabulous, dude. Can't wait to see you again, whenever that is. I wish I knew how to quit you. Yeah, how's the babies doing? We're having a good time, getting some dates lined up. It's fun stuff. Yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully we can do a show together in uh, May. Yes, May or August, depends on when they go and do that thing out in Montana. Yep. Well, you know, we might yeah. be confusing the listeners, boys, because I'm not sure that uh, the listeners really know that John had an affiliation with your band, Nova Rex. So, Kenny, would you mind telling the listeners a little bit more about that? Well, yeah, John helped me out. What happened was a couple years ago, I did a basic glorified home movie, a documentary, and hell, the documentary channel, Netflix, Hulu, Xbox, uh, Google Play, iTunes, anywhere you can get VOD stuff, it, it's out there. And uh, I had a big show. I got a Budweiser sponsorship, a national Budweiser sponsorship, and they said, hey, man, before I can write you a check, you need to go out and play some shows. So, uh, every, you know, I've seen John. And what's really weird about the John thing, and this, I, I take credit for this, by the way, is my uh, old guitar player, JP, lives out in Los Angeles. And so we went out there, and um, at the time, they were doing auditions for the babies. And I said, hey, man, this guy sings his ass off. His name's John. He plays bass. There you go. So pick this guy. But in the meantime, let me borrow him for a little bit. So I, I, I got to send you a check, then, is what you're telling me. No, you don't have to send me a check. <laughs> <laughs> he pretty much got pimped out to you, in other words, and you're like happy to take him. Well, listen, I would love to have John in the band 24-7, but uh, like I said, I mean, the, the Babies is a great gig, and they had, they had that history and great songs and stuff. So, But uh, underneath all that, he's, he really is just an 80s metal rocker, by the way. He is, and I think, uh, you know, in a little bit we're going to play one of his, his songs to kind of show that off. Now, John, you joined them for a few of their festivals at the Leesburg Bike Fest and at Whiskey in Hollywood. What was that kind of like for you? Because you're used to doing more of the melodic, slower, maybe classic rock, and this was like in-your-face stuff. You know, I'm so back in the 80s, you know, I, I did my classic rock stuff, and then I went to a little bit of the harder edge and went to a little bit of the metal side, if you will. Um, so for me, it was like coming home, you know. I'm, I... I I like to scream. I like to sing at the top of my range, and, and the Nova Rex tunes were perfectly suited for me to be able to do that. So I had a blast doing it. You know, Leesburg was great. How many people were there, Kenny? 12, 15K people? It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, doing it, as a matter of fact, I'm doing it again this year, coming up. Oh, that's great, man. Send me a ticket. Yeah, right. A plane ticket, right? <laughs> Excuse me. If he gets one, I get one, too. I'm just saying. It's, no, it's a great show. I, I'm trying to think when it is. It's, uh, Leesburg is, uh, when the hell is it? See, I got my calendar. I'm making all this calendar noise. The gig is in April 24th, April 24th, 25th, and 26th. We're playing, uh, we're like the direct support act for uh, Lita Ford on the Friday the 24th, and I think Puddle Mud's on the 25th. Do you know where people can get tickets to that event? Just go to leesburgbikefest.com. I'm sure it's there. All right. So, um, John, now, not only did you and the rest of the band bring down everyone at these past fests that you've uh, fronted for them, you played and sang on Crank It Up at the festival. But, Kenny, I think you have some pretty cool news to share about that, right? This uh, Starting this week is Speed Week in Daytona, up at uh, Daytona 500. And I'm dealing with a uh, team that's called Brant Racing. And uh, one of their drivers is Justin Aguilera. He drives the number 51 car. And what we're doing is we're making a deal to crank it up to be their theme song. So we're working with uh, the web designers and stuff like that. And then my big deal is just to try to get... Uh, get the damn logo on the side of the car <laughs> oh so now you have to send me a check then well no I don't really like that. <laughs> you both have it all totally screwed up you just need to send me the cash I'm all just... right you know you know but we we're i you know with the classic rock and roll stuff that we do and everything uh i've been trying to stick my big toe in the whole nascar especially with budweiser oh, that's awesome man good luck with that yeah yeah right kind of a cool fun little thing right you know me man i'm always stretching out the boundaries of what i can get away with yep the ultimate pitch man Make sure to, to uh, keep us updated on that because I'll be happy to put it on our website about what's going on with Nova Rex and the song Crank It Up. And that's, you know, I think maybe we should just cut away to that song right now. So here's their 2014 single, Crank It Up, featuring John Basaha on lead vocals.
So, Kenny, we've been referencing a band called Novarex, and I know that there are some people out there that have obviously heard of you, but for those who haven't, can you give them a little bit of your band's backstory? Well, the band's been together since 1985. Uh, originally started off in uh, Canada and came to Florida, spent a few years there, went to L.A., spent four or five years there, went to Indianapolis, where I'm from, spent four or five years there, ended up coming back to Florida, spent a couple more years, and uh, took a big break. Again, I did this documentary, which is basically a glorified home movie that, you know, Netflix and everybody picked up, and uh, now I'm back on the road. Nice. Now, yeah, so, weren't you saying that there was something about Crank It Up also being in that documentary, or in Here I Go Again? Is that well, the same well what, what is, what's going on with that? There's a, there's a documentary out that's going to be released in June. It's called Hair I Go Again. Everybody's in it, man. I mean, they've got probably 80 rockers in this thing. Everybody from, you know, Quiet Riot to Warren to Queen's Ride. I mean, you can go on. You can check it out at hairigoagain.com. There's video clips and stuff, but uh, I got a little segment in there uh, in there talking about, uh, you know, the good old days, and they're using Crank It Up. I think they told me the other day about 30 seconds of Crank It Up in one of the segments, so that's pretty exciting, uh, which I'm sure I'll have some clips of John in there, too. They're going to package that in the disc as well. They're going to be with me in, in the chaps? <laughs> yeah, you in the chaps. Yeah, right. All right cool. Not just the chaps, the assless chaps, John. Come on, be honest. Are there any others? I mean, you know... The... <laughs> <laughs> Any other assless chaps? <laughs> hey, speaking of chaps, John, if you go to uh, the Smithsonian, you type in Novarex Smithsonian, uh, we actually have a pair of leather chaps in the <laughs> National Museum of American History. That's a fact, by the way. It's up there beside Archie Bunker's chair and stuff, so it's really cool. That's a pretty coveted spot, and I'm pretty sure John's already been there, and I don't mean to blow the lid off of everything, but he's probably licking the window. Come on. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, my, it's my favorite pastime. <laughs> I know. You, you wanted those chaps really bad. I know you. Uh-huh. It's all good. No, so it's all good. Thank you for sharing that with us, Kenny. Um, but I think maybe right now it would probably be safer to just break away to another one of your songs. Hint, hint. Hey, go if for you it. Introduce that one for us. I'd really appreciate it. You guys, you guys are ready to rock it. This is from the uh, Greatest Hits CD, Number X Greatest Hits CD, Then and Now. This is a song called Breakaway. Are you making fun of me, John? No. Really? No, I think you are. No. Yes, you are. I could totally tell. I've been up since 4 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, so I have both of you beat, and I didn't even need caffeine to do it. I'm just saying. I even shaved my upper lip for this, so you guys better be impressed. Nice. No, that's pretty hot. Can nice. What? Shaved, not waxed, huh? He's, wow. he's, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, at any rate, thanks for joining me on Rockasms today and for shenanigizing with me all week to surprise my fearful co-host here, John. You're fearful is the right word. Fearful. Absolutely. Ebola-ridden fearful co-host. Oh, no, Ebola. Ebola. <laughs> it's only in my eye. <laughs> Uh, Kenny, you're welcome to come back anytime. Hey, I will, and thanks for, like I said, shaving your lip. That was nice. I know, it's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, man, I'm glad everything's going really well for you, brother. I can't wait to see thanks, you in Florida. Bro. Like I said, come down here, and uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get a big uh, group of people to come out and check it out. And uh, yeah, you definitely got to get down here, man. There's a lot of festivals and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and thanks for coming on, man. It was a fun surprise for me. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they say payola don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had a radio guy one time to me, honestly, real quick. He said to me, he said, hey, man, I want you to play the song for me. He's like, yeah, here, I'm going to give you a P.O. box, and I want you to write a check out to my hooker. And that's a true story, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, um, not exactly rock and roll. Just a uh, segue there, but for more information on the band Nova Rex, <laughs> and minus their, sans their hookers, including a list of their upcoming tour dates, videos, and more, you can visit them online at Novarex. Uh, rocks.com and if you want to check out more on John Basaha and his current gig you can visit him online at thebabiesofficial.com as well John nice seeing you go and again when John was in the band he had the fourth biggest <laughs> <laughs> out of four people exactly <laughs> hey, keep it up guys do what you do I appreciate it I hate I hate to blow it Kenny no no pun intended there but I had the third biggest so <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm blushing now I'm sure you are Mm -hmm. Hey, keep it going, brother. Cool, man. Talk to right, you soon, brother. Peace. Later. See you guys. Bye. Bye, Kenny. See, John, my surprise wasn't all that scary after all, now was it? You know, truth be told, I, I, I am in shock. I'm just wondering, uh, am I off the hook now? Or are you still mad at me? Well, Jen, I just wanted to say thank you for having me on your show again. Other than my time in solitary confinement and the duct tape burns, this was everything I ever hoped it could be and more. So... <laughs> Yeah, you're officially off the hook. In fact, I think that... What are, you, what are you doing? Well, I'm getting down on one knee because I'd like to ask for your whip in Rockasm's marriage and become your co-host your co 
more often on this show. And you know what? I've written some special vows in anticipation of this holiest of matrimonies. Here we go. <clears throat> Jan, my pygmy goat rearing. Joe Elliott loving. Chocolate craving maniac. The rock asthmic host of life. Someone who gives me nightmares in an odd way, but always keeps it real. Would you take my hoof, I mean hand, and betroth yourself to me so that we may become one and host in future rockgasm shows together, both as long as we don't off each other. I pledge to feed your ice chips and chocolate smoothies in your rest home for as long as you can still swallow. Will you take my shepherd's staff and wield it valiantly in the days to come? Amen. Am I supposed to take that as a yes or a no? Oh, oh God, I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome, don't you think? <laughs> that was poetry. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, don't you think? I do. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> The tower vested in all things blasphemous. We are now officially each other's whipping bitches for life. And until next time, this is Jen Mitchell and John Basaha of Rockasm signing off and saying, we hope the music keeps hitting you in all the right places. My pygmy. <laughs> Feed ice chips. Chocolate smoothies in the nursing home. For as long as you can still swallow. <laughs> I just... Mm. <laughs> it's not right. Will you take my shepherd's staff and wield it valiantly in the days to come? <laughs>